you know it's you know it's pretty amazing how you can get brainwashed and not see things on really how they are or how they work give me I'm gonna give you a good example of this about 20 years ago I ordered uh, from Cotter now this is before really before uh, the internet really took off so it was a mail order I ordered some solid tubes notice I said solid tubes for my bicycle from a company in Colorado and I you know I finally got it took about a week to get them I, I mailed it I mailed uh, I mailed the order form and on the order form it said you know for one dollar your uh, order will receive priority you know just to get them faster and I got them you know when they got the mail they probably got the mail uh, you know in two or three days and they shipped them fast I got them in about a week so what it is uh, you have to take soap and water now they're solid uh, they kind of reminded me of a rubber foam mixture porous but they did not need air and you have to install them you have to you put them <clears throat> you put them in the tire bike bicycle tire and they're hard to put on you really got to force and that's the way they're designed so they hold so they hold but uh, finally I mean it's hard to put that bead in, of the of the tire in the rim but I finally got them on and it felt so good not having to worry about air well I hadn't rode it yet I bought two so I had the solid tubes in my back tire and my front tire I got on my bicycle and I rode down the road. Man, you talking about fast. See, a lot of people don't realize this. You think that a car or a truck is, or a motorcycle is the only fast things on the road. No, you'd be wrong. If you got the right kind of tires and you got, and you're, you got proper seat height for your legs, the frame is made for it, design uh, measurements for your body. A bicycle is a lot faster than what you think they are. I was a fat, I mean, I was like a car. I'm on a bicycle, 100% bicycle. But those solid tubes, I can stay with a car. Amazing, fast, wonderful. One little drawback to them. The pedaling was easy, smooth. But since they're solid, they was hard. So as you held the handlebar, you felt a slight, slight vibration. And it wasn't bad. But let's say I was going on a 50 mile trip. I would probably want cyc cycling gloves with gel inserts in my palm of my hands. Just a slight vibration. Slightly annoying. <clears throat> But worth it. But that wasn't the other problem. Well, that wasn't the major. Uh, about two days after, I broke a spoke. And I don't know if it was from those solid tubes with the vibration, slight vibration, or just a tube that was just ready to break anyway. Now, I was going to try it on another rim. You know, if, if it starts breaking tube, I'm sorry, if it starts breaking spokes, there's no sense in having those solid. And that was heartbreaking. I don't know why they can't make something like that a little softer or, or take the vibration out. You know, they're hard to resemble air pressure. But they was wonderful. No air pressure at all. Solid tubes. But one of my spokes broke. And that was disheartening. 